Hi, my name is Andre Vanny Robin, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Addict Digital, the creators of Best TV. And I'm informing Informulo. Thanks so much for uh, joining us today. So tell us a little bit about your company and what problem you're solving. Well, uh, Best TV is a software platform that enables broadcasters to solve a very big problem. Digital uh, terrestrial television is uh, coming on board in Europe throughout uh, the next years and provoking a paradigm shift which is decreasing advertisement revenue that broadcasters need to overcome, not to mention the loss of audience share. So how do you make money in a business that hasn't changed in 50 years and is completely changing due to this analog switch off? Best TV allows them to amortize their digital terrestrial television licenses and to open up new models in non-linear television. Okay, how does it work exactly? Well, uh, it's a software platform that allows the broadcaster to optimize its digital terrestrial television frequency and to relate that frequency to uh, storage devices in set-top boxes to manage the user's experience and provide a tremendous amount of additional content without disrupting the existing program uh, scheduling and at the same token allows the user to have not only access to non-paying content but to paying content in an environment where free-to-air normally did not provide that ability. What's your business model? Our business model is to sell our software uh, in terms of license fees on the client side, on the server side and the integration services to enable these broadcasters to generate new revenues in this very changing environment. Um, are you profitable? We're profitable. We've raised 3.5 million euros in the last uh, three and a half years, and our uh, annual revenue are 2 million euros a year. Profitable. Great. So uh, tell us a little bit about how, um, how you raised the money here in Spain. We started uh, the company back in October of 2005, uh, thanks to Mr. Jose Piquet of uh, 22 Arroba a uh, mentor to the project who opened the doors to the National Science Foundation of Catalonia, to the doors of the National Science Foundation of Government of Spain, and in turn qualifying for these uh, investments allowed us to speak to uh, various venture capital firms in Spain. Notably, one of them is called uh, Eurecan, which is a venture capital firm of the Caja Navarra. And uh, after having gone through all these uh, due diligence processes, which uh, were quite uh, straightforward, uh, although thorough, we managed to raise 3.5 million euros. The environment uh, provided us many, many opportunities to meet many investors, and uh, we were very glad that uh, all these uh, meetings actually did uh, allow us to raise so much money to, to build and commercialize our product. So right now your company is based in an area of Barcelona where there's a lot of um, media activity. Can you tell us a little bit about that and then tell us about where you're going to where you're going to go from here? Well, a uh, very interesting phenomenon is 22 Arroba that uh, regroups a lot of companies that are in the information systems industry, in the media industry, uh, in the broadcast industry. And uh, it's an ecosystem that allowed us to create a lot of synergies with a lot of uh, partners to build our product, to sell our product, to open many doors. And uh, we just find it a very, very uh, business-friendly environment because you can walk out in the neighborhood and see a lot of companies that are in your field uh, or in complementary fields and feel free to walk in and say hello. Uh, but now, uh, your company and, and many others will be moving to a new area of Barcelona called 22. Um, can you tell us about that program and why you're going to move there? We're going to move there because walking to somebody's company uh, is much easier. <laughs> if they're all there in the same environment, they share the same philosophy. Uh, the amenities in terms of infrastructure, in terms of IP infrastructure, are uh, extremely efficient and extremely abundant. And most importantly, it's just a, a very, very uh, friendly ecosystem. Uh, where you can find a lot of business opportunities in, without actually having to go very far uh, if you're in the industry of technology or broadcast. And that's the reason why we're going there, because it is really a showcase of Barcelona in terms of what the city can produce, in terms of new ideas and new technologies, and we just want to be part of that showcase. Okay, so I know that uh, already uh, one of the Spanish television, uh, or one of your customers, but uh, you're not just a Spanish play. You already uh, have customers across Europe. Uh, can That's you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we, we've been very fortunate uh, to have been selected uh, to provide our platform to an Italian uh, national broadcaster. 
and uh, this is a very important reference uh, customer for us. Uh, we are currently active uh, as well in Eastern Europe, and uh, we are we have recently signed a project in uh, in the UK. Uh, so we're actually uh, all over Europe now. Uh, our technology, which is patented, is a European patent, and it allows us definitely to uh, go out and, uh, and enable customers uh, all over the digital terrestrial television uh, uh, switch on uh, process that is taking place in Europe. And we did not find any hindrance uh, in doing that by having been born in Barcelona. Uh, so the flights uh, connect to all these great cities in Europe, and it allows us definitely to sell uh, much beyond the Spanish border. Okay, um, so are you uh, looking to raise more venture capital? We're in the process of raising more venture capital, uh, spending a lot of time uh, doing that uh, in, in the UK actually. Uh, and we're finding that uh, having been born in Barcelona is a good reference. Uh, and uh, basically the treatment of Barcelona-based companies is somewhat different than those of other regions in Spain. And uh, we actually are very pleased with the, the perception that uh, people have outside of Spain of companies born in Barcelona. And uh, we are currently moving on, although as a profitable company, the capital that we're raising is uh, to actually try to expand much faster uh, than our business plan had uh, originally been uh, conceived for. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you uh, to Informio for this opportunity to inform.